everyone, my name is Alexandra, aka Truly Deeply Pretty on YouTube, and welcome to my first YouTube tutorial. Um, well, I'll actually be doing makeup, and I can prove to you that I'm a makeup artist. Today, we are going to be a, doing a soft romantic look for Valentine's Day. So, if you have a date coming up, this is something you can do um, to go out with your little special someone. Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with my eyes. Um, you'll see a lot of makeup artists will do this. Um, if you're doing something really natural every day, you really don't need to do that. So I have Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. Um, I'm just scooping it out using a metal spatula that helps so I can not contaminate it. That's the same one that I use on my kit on my clients. So I want to make sure that everyone kind of stays healthy. Anyway, so I'm going to grab just a flat synthetic brush. Um, this is the Royal and Lane Nicole Shade and Conceal C211. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Um, and I'm just going to work the painterly paint pot into oh my God, here you go. Feel free to go up onto the brow bone. So as I said in the intro, we're going to be doing a soft romantic look for Valentine's Day. Um, a lot of guys aren't really like, don't really care, don't know there's when we wear a lot of makeup. It's really more for ourselves that we do it. Um, and I was thinking, how, what if, oh, maybe I'll do this really vixen -y look with like red eyeshadow, red, um, not red eyeshadow, red lipstick. But then if you're going on a date, I don't think your date wants to be wearing your red lipstick after you kiss. And you don't want to be touching it up because that's a lot of maintenance. So I've done that. And I'm going to go in with some the MAC Vanilla Pigment. I don't have the full container of it. I freelance for them, so I just kind of grab samples every so often. I'll buy it sooner or later. Um, it's a really lovely pigment. really goes on nicely. Excellent as um highlight. So I'm just taking a, it's a Royal and Lane Nicole. C430 brush. Um, it's kind of like the MAC 224 brush. Um, I find it's a little bit more, um, comes to more of a point almost. So I'm going to go in and kind of highlight my inner tear duct area and right underneath my eyebrows because I want to give that really doughy eyed, soft, I want the light to hit it and you're, you can sort of glisten. So we're using her um, tones of gold and purple on this eye because gold and purple are colors that can complement any, any one of every skin tone. Um, it won't be that ridiculously dramatic, um, but it still looks soft and natural. Um, so I'm actually going to take our first eyeshadow color and I'm going to use a flat natural hair fiery brush. Um, it's great for packing on color into the lid, which is what exactly I want to do. This is the Royal and Lane Nicole um, C415 brush. Um, the MAC 239 would be great. Really anything you have. I think Target has some great ones for like $2 that work awesome. So I'm taking this color right here. This is MAC um, Trax. It has gold sort of purpley specks in it. It's great. And I'm going to buff this all over my eyes underneath the crease. Don't be too precise with it. Don't get crazy over it because you're going to go and buff everything out anyway and you're going to add more colors on top of this. This is really just the base of everything that we're doing. And then I'm going to go in with my I, to MAC 224 brush. You can use the same brush as before. I just have vanilla pigment and I don't want to get it on my crease. Um, basically, if I love one brush, I get a million of them because I find many ways to use the same brush. Alright, so we are going to go into the crease now and I'm going to pick up some Ho. This is a eyeshadow by MAC. It's a mauve matte color. It's not too crazy. It looks great in the crease. I'm just going to take a little bit of it and looking straight into the mirror with my 224 brush, I'm just going to do a windshield wiper method 
I always, well not always, a lot of times, 80% of the time, I use a matte color in the crease. And simply doing this just creates so much more dimension and brings everything together to give it a soft, very finished look. And this is my first YouTube tutorial, and I don't know if any of the other ones I've ever told you, but it's really kind of awkward recording yourself doing makeup and doing it in a little tiny mirror. So, I don't know if you can see. So we've got that going. And then, I'm going to go in with a deeper color. And I'm using the MAC 217. I'm going to pick up, um, where are you? Some Sketch. Um, it's an eyeshadow by MAC. It's along the same family as Tracks. It looks great in the crease, but it's not too heavy for it to be ridiculous. And I'm going to go on the outer third or fourth of my eye, right in the crease, a little circular motions and buff that in to create some more dimension. Now I know from the camera right now you're seeing a lot of purple. I'm not going to go in and tap the gold on until the end. I just want it to be like a hint of gold. So I'm just going to do that on the other eye as well. Okay, I'm just going to go back in. I'm not picking up any color right now with that 224 action that we put the um, ho on before. You might call it ho hoax, I don't know, H-A-U-X. You can kind of decide how you want to pronounce it. Just buffing it out. And then I'm going to go on and pick up a little bit of MAC Wedge. Um, it's like a neutral brownish, slightly darker than skin tone. Great for people with light to mid skin tones. If you're darker skin tones, you might want to try something like cork or um, brown down, that might be, or um, coquette would be great to use for a crease color. And I'm just buffing it out just slightly more. Wedge is good. If you've ever sort of added a little bit too much and you need to buff things down, I stick wedge on it and it just brings everything together. Okay, and now I'm going to go back in with that same C14, basically natural hair fiber brush, um, flat bristles, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of Woodwinked. Um, it's a gold matte eye, um, not gold, I mean not matte, it's a goldish eyeshadow from MAC, um, and I'm going to place a little bit of it just over the center of the lid. I want the light to be able to pick up the gold. Bear with me. I can't see it this way. I'm going to buff everything out. So this is basically all we're going to do for the eyeshadows. I might take a little bit of a flat buffer brush. It's a mini smudge brush. It's the Royal and Lane Nickel C402 brush. Um, it's really great for getting eyeshadow under the eye. And I'm just going to take a little bit of brown down. It's a brown eyeshadow matte. And I'm just going to brush it along my lower lash line because I don't want really super defined flower eyes. I don't want it to be anything, I guess, harsh, or something very soft. So now we're going to move on to eyeliner. Um, I prefer using gel eyeliners, and I'll explain that at a different point in time. This is Max Dip Down Eyeliner. It's a gel eyeliner. It's brown. Um, I don't want it to be super, I guess, 
I, don't, I usually use the black, but I, I wanted a softer look, so we're going to go brown. It's a bit more natural looking. I'm going to pick up my um, metal spatula again. I use the back of my hand. So for eyeliner, my go-to brush is the MAC 266 brush. And when I do eyeliner on myself, a lot of people are tempted to like close their eyes and pull their eyelid, but that can actually cause premature wrinkling. Down here, you want to tilt your head back slightly and pull your eyeliner from pull your eye from here. And just do little dashes. Let's see. Like I'm still on the way. So I finished eyeliner and I'm just going to go on and clear my lashes, do mascara. Um, and if you hear background noise, it's either a baby or my brother-in-law. I'm using their camera to record this. I don't have my own and I can't be trusted alone with theirs. Technology and I have a bad rap sheet. Now because I want this to be a bit more of a soft and natural look, I don't want to do crazy eyelashes on this. However, I do want a little bit more of a pop, so I'm going to do some individual eyelashes. I'm going to stop the camera for a second, but when I come back, um, my eyes, lashes will be completely done, so I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I'm all done with um, the eyes. I've applied um, individual lashes. They come a couple different lengths. Um, I just wanted to look more natural, not like I had a full crazy strip of lashes on so now it looks like my own lashes are a bit longer. Um, you can still see the glue is drying a little bit um, but we're going to move on to skincare. And one of the things I'm going to apply is an eye cream. Um, everyone should use one. This is the organic coffee bean eye cream from 100% Pure. Um, the caffeine in it activates the capillaries beneath your eyes to reduce puffiness and bring blood to the area so it helps get rid of dark circles. The thing I'm going to apply is my daily moisturizer, just the Josie Moran Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 40. And then we're going to go apply some primer and we're going to use the Napoleon Perdice Autopilot Pre Foundation Skin Primer. I love this. It's great for people who have really dry skin. It has chamomile in it and it's very soothing as well. So if you live in a harsh winter climate or if you have some sensitive or dry skin, this product is great for you. And I'm just going to apply it with a simple foundation brush. This is just the MAC 190 brush. I want there to be a really soft, dewy look for foundation, so I'm going to add some stuff into my foundation to give me that really pearl, sort of radiant finish. I use uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. It's a matte full coverage foundation. I don't want it to be um, matte today, so I'm going to kind of rearrange it. So I've got my trusty spatula again. I'm just going to take a little bit out onto my metal mixing spatula, like so. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of MAC Stro Cream. This has a pearl finish to it. It's a moisturizer. It's going to throughout the day kind of deliver a lot of more moisture to your face so I'm going to mix that in with my foundation and not only is it going to give it that pearl finish but it's going to thin it down so it's not as full coverage. And I'm going to cut away, do my foundation, come back and then we'll talk about um, blush. Hey everyone, so I finished my foundation and my concealer um, and I just wanted to show you the finishing touches on my face because every look has a slightly different finish. This is actually darker than my skin tone. The reason is I'm going to use it to bronze a little bit and I'm using the Real Techniques blusher brush but it's nice and domed so it does nice for a bronzer as well and I'm just going to go kind of like in a C motion and really just warm my face up just a little bit because I am what they call it fair skin maiden or pale very very pale and I'm going to get my neck as well your, your neck is always the lightest part of you you just really need to warm yourself up a little bit down there I feel like that was a bad switch okay so take like six so what you basically missed was me applying blush. It's just um, MAC Dainty Blush. I bronzed with MAC Medium Dark Skin Finish. Um, that's a very natural bronzing shade on me as I'm like an NC15. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight on my cheeks. And to do that, I'm going to use MAC's um, Whisper of Guilt. It's a little bit of a gold 
reflection, which is what I want, seeing as I have the gold tones on my eyes. And I'm just going to apply the highlight to the top of my cheeks. And again, I'm using like a 2-6-24 brush. I use it for like everything. I'm going to apply it just above my eyebrows. Anywhere the light hits naturally, I'm going to apply it down my nose, but I am not going to apply it to the tip of my nose because I have that slight peak that I don't want to highlight, um, and I bronzed it, I mean I contoured it anyway. And then I'm going to apply it, this is the Keep It Spell, right on the tip of the chin. Just do a little bit right here too. So that's that, and I don't know if you can tell, but it just lets, when the, the light hits it, it just gives this nice, dewy, sort of doe-eyed, soft, look to it. Alright, so that's the eyes and the face, um, and I'm just going to do lips because it's going to be a soft and romantic look. So this is MAC Subculture Liner. It's a really great natural lip liner. I pair it with so many different things, and where I have a natural pinker base to my lips, it looks just, it is basically my skin color, or my lip color enhanced. And I'm just going to take it, oops, I it a little bit, don't be scared to mess up. Because everything can be fixed. And all I'm going to do after that is take a little bit of Big Baby, which is a plush glass, um, glass, glass, plush glass um, from MAC. It's got a little bit of a tingle to it, but it looks very natural on. And that is the completed look. Um, it just looks very natural. So yeah, thank you. Alright everyone, enjoy your Valentine's Day. I will with my glass of wine, ice cream, and this little cupcake right here. Mm. Bye.